Jordan Poole be an all-star next year? I think everybody knows at this point, it happened a while ago, but in case you missed it, Jordan Poole was traded to the Wizards. And we know that the Wizards are in rebuild mode because they traded Bradley Beal and they're starting over with some young players, talented players might I add. Like they have Kyle Kuzma, who was great for them last year. They picked up Tyus Jones from Memphis. So like, they have some nice talent on that team. But Jordan Poole, of course, is one of the biggest names on the team, going from the Golden State Warriors, you know, won a championship with them, was a key part of them winning that championship, and was awesome, like lighting it up constantly. We're not gonna talk about last season because people have criticized him enough about it. He still averaged 20, he still helped them in many ways, like, was it his best season? No, but let's move on from that. I made a video last year when he was obviously still on the Warriors, asking the question, could Jordan Poole be an all-star in the future? And in that video, I said I think he could like three or four years down the line when obviously he would be taking the reins over from Steph or at least be like, you know, a starter and stuff like that. Like three or four years down the line, he would be in his prime of prime. So I was like, Jordan Poole could be an all-star and Steph Clay and Draymond could still be there, but he could be like, you know, the all-star caliber player on that team as well. Honestly, Steph could still be an all-star in three or four years. Like, they all play at high elite levels. Players are being able to last longer in the league. They're taking better care of their bodies. So like, I'm not saying Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond, none of them can be an all-star in three years. I'm just saying I thought Jordan Poole could be an all-star with them in a few years. But now I'm bringing the topic back up because he's on the Wizards now. And I think next year he has a really good shot to be an all-star. Whatever you think about Jordan Poole, He's an easy 25, 30 points per game next season, in my opinion. Jordan Poole, first of all, we know he can score in bunches. He can get on heaters like we saw him do it in Golden State. He's got a nice handle. He is crafty. Like, he is one of the craftiest players. When he gets a highlight, it's a highlight. Like, he's doing all this crazy stuff, and it'll just be a crazy highlight. He's really good at getting to the rim. Like, his ability to get to the rim and actually, you know, get a foul called for him is underrated. And now that he is the guy or the guy with Kyle Kuzma, however, you know, they figure it out. But like him and Kyle Kuzma, you know, are the 1A, 1B, whatever. In terms of like scoring options, I'm saying. Like, I don't know if Jordan Poole is going to be the first scoring option or if Kyle Kuzma. I would assume Jordan Poole, but like I said, they'll be close. The point is, I think Jordan Poole is going to get to the line a lot next season. Because when he's at home with the Wizards they are going to give him the whistle. And I'm not saying they're just gonna blow the whistle and just give him anything even if nobody touches him. I'm just saying when you're the home team, you get a friendlier whistle. Like that's not, <laughs> it's not breaking news. I think it's inevitable that Jordan Poole averages 25, close to 30. I'll say he'll average like 28 points per game next season. I could be wrong, but I think he could do it. And if he does something like that, and let's say the Wizards, cause obviously, records matter a little bit when they consider all-stars and i don't know where the wizards are going to end up but let's just say they were in 15th place in the eastern conference i'm not saying they will be there but i don't know i like i don't remember if somebody was like that low down in the standings and they were an all-star like comment down below if someone was and i'm just forgetting but if you're averaging close to 30 it's kind of hard to deny him being an all-star i also don't think the wizards are going to be the last team like I know some people think that, but I don't think they're going to be last, but I could be wrong about that too. I also think a guard spot for an all-star appearance is up for grabs for Jordan Poole. There's plenty of talent in both conferences, but I feel like the West always is a harder time to become an all-star as a guard rather than the East, at least recently. Because in the West, you have Steph, Luca, Dame, now you got Shea, like Shea is on the scene. So you have him, De'Aaron Fox, you know, we just saw what happened last year with De'Aaron Fox. Uh, who else is in the West? Kyrie is in the West now too, because he was straight to the Mavs last year. So Kyrie is there. Kyrie could be an all-star as well. He was one this year. You also have Devin Booker is there. Bradley Beal is now in the West. Like, I know I'm forgetting other people, but like, there's a lot of competition in the West. I hope Jordan Poole does well. I hope he becomes an all-star. And I hope he succeeds in Washington because a lot of people are just criticizing him and talking down on him and... I get it, like, you know, you're allowed to critique his play when he doesn't play well. So I'm not telling someone to be like, oh, just say Jordan Poole is the greatest ever. That's not what I'm saying. But I just feel like, okay, we talked about it. Now let's see what he could do next season. Bounce back season. So many players have bounce back seasons. Let let's see Jordan Poole's bounce back season. And I hope he becomes an all-star next season because that would be very exciting for him.